and welcome back to the channel. Yay! Um, today, let me take my armor off. Today, we are going to be building a vault. I will be showing you how to build a vault with a lever combination lock on it so that you can't get in. It's gonna look a little bit like this when it's finished. Let's jump right in. So for the first part, the lever combination lock, you're going to need a lot of redstone stuff. You're gonna need lever, redstone, of course, a torch, um, and then you're just gonna need some blocks. So I'm going to make my vault out of iron. You can make it out of whatever block you want. So first part is going to be the lever combination lock. I'm gonna do a four by four design, which means we need five blocks, five by five design. Like this, of course, you can build it whatever size you want. Um, just needs to be reasonable. And then we're just going to put the levers like this. There we go. Uh, and now at the back, let's see. We're going to have to flick three of these 12 levers. I have 12 levers up there. I'm gonna have to flick these three, ex these exact three levers to uh, open the vault. But so now we say this one, which is two blocks away from that side. One, two. There we go, and place a block under it. Now we put a redstone torch here, block out from it, like that, with more redstone. Then we do the same for all the other one. This is editing mainly here. Um, I do not mean do all of the levers like this, no. Do the ones that you need to flip, that you want to flip to open the vault. Not all of them, just want to make that clear. Okay, so as you can see, I've done the redstone torch for all three of my levers now, um, and then I connected them up. So you're gonna connect them all up like this to one universal redstone torch. This should, this is only able to be powered if all of these redstone torches are off. If you power, so, say I have the combination and it's this, it's not gonna work. It's just one redstone torch will turn this off. So I need each of these three levers to be on um, for this torch to be on. And then we're going to place some redstone like this. Or actually, let's go out one more, two more, a couple more blocks. So this is going to be where the vault door is. You go out like that. Um, and then we're going to split it across like that for three blocks. And then dig down like this. Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna be a problem. This to... Okay, so I miscalculated, and you actually need to, um, instead of, you need to take this torch feeding into these two, which then makes one other torch, and then the power from this torch goes into that, so the pistons are down like this, and then you're also gonna bring the eye uh, up like this, go up, um, on a torch tower, so uh, that's not gonna work. We're just going to place a block there with redstone, place another block here, and then kind of show me around. 
bring the redstone to here. And then if we place a sticky piston facing down, it's not gonna work. Uh, we need one more block like that, place that there, and then a sticky piston facing down and a block on top of it. Now we can walk through here. When we walk through, we're going to find a redstone mess, but I'm also going to build a hallway over here with chests later. But um, now we can just continue to build these pistons like that. Um, place the iron blocks on there and like that. There we go. So now if we reset this combination like that, then we come over here and have st stairs right there and blocks covering this. It's all the redstone and stuff, but so it's gonna look like this. And then uh, if we come and flick the correct levers like that and walk back around the side, it will look like this and we can walk up through and then over this way I will make a hallway and then a room filled with chests. So, um, let's flip these. The next things you're going to need for this, things you're going to need for this next bit is some stairs to get into the vault. So I'm just gonna use the copper stairs. Um, like this, so we can come up when the pistons are open. Now we don't have to jump, we can just walk through. Then uh, you need the blocks you want your hallway to make, be made out of. I'm gonna keep using these. So then we go like this just bring the iron all the way across and this this last bit will be our vault room it's going to be a six one two three four five it's gonna be a five by five so we can go like this here's the outline we're gonna need to build that up too and then um, we're gonna leave one block gap there and pull the iron all the way across like this to the lever here and then we're just gonna make this a wall <laughs> sneeze um then after we make that wall we're gonna come out and do the same thing on this side minus the room so we're just gonna uh, uh, we're just gonna uh make a wall so you can't see all the redstone and stuff um we're obviously going to make walls around this room and fill in the floor and stuff uh so i will jump back to you when that stuff's finished this is editing Rainwing again, and I realized that I never said build a roof. You should probably put a roof on your vault. Um, yeah. Alright, so, back, I am back, but this time, our vault has, has walls and a roof. Um, so, now that we have walls and a roof, Let's do some interior work. Just gotta remember the combination. That should be it. Now if we run around back, um, if we run around back, here it is, nice and open. We can come in here. At the moment, unfortunately, there is no way to close that up, uh, but I'm going to, something sneaky I'm going so if you get 
your lever out. Um, and you come and place it like that. You flick the lever. Turns. Uh, never mind. That that placing is not going to work. What? Just oh gosh. Now it's broken. Um, let's fix that. Then maybe if we place the lever like here, here, boom. That's how you close it. Now if we flick the lever again, it'll open it back up and we can leave. But at the moment, we're good. So let's get a torch, light it up so monsters can't spawn because nobody likes monsters. Um, there we go. And now we can place an iron door with a lever right here. So this is the inside of the vault. If we pull this lever and walk through the iron door, you've got this little tiny room. And in this room, you can take just the chest um, and go boom, 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 and kind of just go all the way up with the chests. You can keep all your stuff safe in here. Um, and so once this is full of chests, I'm gonna add a ender chest because those are they, they can be really useful stick that right there because um, it's got all my stuff in it um all right so that's a that's a lot of chests you can keep all the stuff you want in here and um that's the vault so let's let's go over this again if we outside uh turn off the levers all the levers now there's it's just a big building with some stairs on the side of it randomly and a whole bunch of levers but if we flick this lever this lever and this lever and come around back the wall opens up, we can walk right in, come over to this edge, flick the le oh, flick it once, it shuts the door so nobody else can get in, and then we flick that lever and walk into a room full of chests and all your, all your diamonds. Gotta have them diamonds safe in a vault. Um, can come back over here, pull the lever, walk out of the vault, and fly back around, reset all the levers that you have pulled, and now it's, once again, just a box. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe. It doesn't, it's completely free. You can always change your mind. Um, yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. And yes, by the way, if you were wondering, I was completely making this up as I went. I had no recording plan or anything. I just decided, hey, I'm going to make a vault for a YouTube video and recorded this. I had no plan, no idea what I was doing. So that's why I had struggles and stutters in this. So, technical difficulties happen.